Hi everybody, I'm Leticia. Can you believe we're already at the end of 2020? It has been a crazy year. But if you think about it, going through life is kind of like running a race. Sometimes things go the way you want them to and sometimes they don't. Sometimes things distract you and sometimes you get tired and discouraged, but you've got to keep running the race. You've got to persevere and keep going, even when life gets hard. I've asked Mr. Damien to help us out today. Here, Mr. Damien, I need you to put this on. And I need you to wear this, because you need to get ready for a race. Get ready for a race? You want me to run a race with an empty backpack? Yep. I can do that. All right, just tell me, uh, tell me when you want me to go. Well, wait. I want you to hear this verse first. In the book of Isaiah, there's a great verse about running the race of life. In Isaiah 40, verse 31, reads, But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles, but they will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. Wow, that's a really good verse. I like the fly as high as eagles part. That is really cool. So here's my question to you. What are some things in life that make it hard for you to keep going and persevering? Mr. Damien, I'm going to need you to turn around because I'm going to place some things in your backpack. Maybe it's having to do school from home. Maybe it's not being able to see your friends. Hey, uh, it's getting a little heavy. I just, I gotta run and stuff. Well, this is when you're going to persevere. Maybe it's not being able to go to Disneyland or the movies or any other places that you like to go. But you know what? There's also a great verse in the book of Hebrews that talks about something else that can make life hard. In Hebrews 12.1 reads, A huge cloud of witness is all around us, so let us throw off everything that stands in our way. Let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly, and let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Anytime we sin, we pick up more weight to carry as we run the race of faith. So the more we sin, the harder the race gets. Yep. Hmm. Just like this. Go ahead and turn around. More? Yeah. You know, I mean, we all sin. And carrying all this weight definitely going to slow you down. There's no way that you'd be able to stay in this race. But let's see. All right. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, what? There's no way I can run a race with all this in my life. So what can we do? How can we lighten the load? Well, remember what it said in our verse in Isaiah? Isaiah 40, 31. It reads, but those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. And in Hebrews, it, also, it said, let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly. So how can we trust in the Lord and empty this backpack? Oh, well, we can start by taking it off. And one thing we can do to start is read our Bible. You can read the Bible anytime. You don't have to wait till church. You can read it every day. The Bible will show you God's big story, and it will remind you how much God loves you, and it will show you how he wants you to live. Remember our verse for today. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. What if you were reading your Bible one day and you saw that verse? I bet that would encourage you to live God's way, right? Well, what if you memorized that verse? You could use it when something tough happens. I bet that could help you persevere and to keep running the race. And another good way besides reading your Bible is praying about things. Praying's a great way. We can talk to God about anything. He always, he's always there. We can pray. We can ask God to help us make the wise choice. We can ask him to give us strength we need to keep going. 
We can ask him to forgive us when we've messed up and to help us not mess up again. Praying definitely helps us to keep going. Another way to keep sin from holding us back is to be inspired by the people who followed God before us. In Hebrews, it says we're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Those are the people who followed God long before us. We can see how they ran their race, and it can help us in running ours. So let's check out a few of those people. Remember Joseph? He forgave his brothers for selling him into slavery, and he ended up saving all the Israelites when there was no food for them to eat. Or how about Moses? He was afraid to speak, but God ended up using him to help rescue the Israelites from Egypt. And Noah. He got made fun of for building a giant ark, but he followed God and survived the great flood. All these men followed God when things got hard, just like many other men and women in the Bible. There are people in your life who are cheering you on in your race, and they want to see you succeed. Your parents, family members, friends, small group leaders, your worship leaders, Mr. Mike, Miss Leticia, we all want to see you succeed, and we're here cheering you on. So you can see that God wants you to keep going. He wants you to trust him and make the wise choice. He wants you to throw off all sin. So here, try this out. Try running Whoa. the race now. Oh man. Yeah, this is, uh, this is way lighter. All right. So if you read your Bibles and pray and be inspired by other believers, God can use all those things to help you run your race. He can help you persevere. So let's start off the year 2021 by trusting in God to help us run our race. Have a great year. Bye.